Throughout class, you will be laying down, sitting, and standing on your carriage. The reformer uses spring resistance. The level of resistance is indicated by the color. Red is medium resistance. Blue is light resistance. And then there's yellow, which is extra light. You can also increase or decrease resistance by using the lower gear or the high gear setting. For safety purposes, never leave your reformer without at least one red spring. When changing springs, always hook the new one on before you take the old one off. The shoulder rests give you stabilization when working with heavy resistance. There are two settings for the shoulder rests, narrow and wide. You can adjust them for your own comfort. There are also two settings for the headrest, up and down. Some exercises require one position or the other. These are the straps and the loops. The small loop is typically for your hands, and the big one is typically for your feet. Many clients bring their own personal loops, and it's very easy to swap them in and out. Just loosen the knot, slide the studio loops out, and slide your loops on, and then tighten the knot. It's important that your ropes are the same length to check Hold them together over the center of your carriage. There's an easy way to even them up. Place them over the shoulder rests and pull the lever located under the headrest. Store your loops on the hooks for easy access throughout class. This is the foot bar. To lower it, pull up from the center and bring it down. To lift, pull from the center and lift it up until it clicks in place. The foot bar also moves up and down the frame of the reformer, allowing us to do many more exercises. To slide it, pull up from center, angle it backwards, and slide it to where you need it. Pull up from center to lock it into place. Always make sure that your foot bar is locked in place before doing any exercises. Every reformer comes with a box, and that box has two different names. Long box when vertical, and short box when horizontal. The short box has two settings, in front of and over the shoulder rests. There's a designated spot in your station to store all of your props and equipment, and it's always recommended that you keep the area around your reformer clear. Our reformers can transform. We're able to do reformer, tower, and many trap table exercises on this one piece of equipment. Once your carriage is pushed all the way back, insert the map board. The tower also utilizes springs and the color code is the same, except there are long ones and short ones. There are a lot of safety requirements for the push through bar. When sprung from below, you always need the safety strap. Hook that up first. Use both hands to hook your springs on and take them off. When the springs are from above, it's called top sprung and you won't need the safety strap, but always be aware of your bar. There are some exercises that are absolutely necessary for you to hold your bar until you can return it into a safe position. All of the tower springs are stored on these back hooks. Your teacher will tell you where to attach them for certain exercises. Always put your springs and all equipment back in its spot. The safe way to get on the carriage is by sitting on the edge, rolling down on your side and then onto your back. Get up by rolling to your side first. Sometimes you'll be standing on the carriage. Always step to the foot plate first, then the carriage. Before stepping off, make sure there are no props on the floor. For safety throughout class, always store your props underneath the reformer. Your class might utilize the jump board. Holding it from both loops, slide it into the holes on the foot plate. 
Remove it the same way and then put it back where it belongs. After class, make sure everything is sprayed and wiped down and that you have all your belongings. Place your long box back on the carriage and we'll see you next time.